James Bond, the immortal icon of cinema, is not only famous for his thrilling action scenes and thrilling plots, but also for his beautiful Bond girls. They are the ones who created the undeniable appeal of this series, each bringing their own beauty, their own style, and living an indelible mark. However, life is finite, and many Bond girls have passed away forever, leaving fans with endless regrets. In this video, we'll look back at the lives, careers, and memorable moments of the deceased Bond girls. They're not only beauties on screen, but also talented, brave women who devoted their lives to art. From legends like Ursula Address to names that may be more obscure, but all deserve to be honored and remembered. Join us in reminiscing about the internal roses of cinema, those who made history and forever live in the hearts of film lovers. Linda Christian played Valerie Mathis in the 1954 TV version of Casino Royale. She's a Mexican actress, famous for her acting career that spanned several decades. When she was in Casino Royale, she was 31. Valerie Mathis is a mysterious and seductive woman who has a complicated relationship with James Bond. She was one of the first Bond girls, and she left a deep impression on the audience thanks to her beauty and acting talent. Linda Christian was born on November 13, 1923, in Tampico, Mexico. She participated in many films such as Tarzan and the Mermaids and Happy Times. She is also famous for her marriage to actor Tyrone Power, one of Hollywood's biggest stars at that time. Her later life encountered many health problems. She had to deal with the colon cancer in the last years of her life. She passed away on July 22, 2011, at 87. Her passing left many regrets in the hearts of fans and family. But don't blame me. <laughs> well, it's nice to have met you, Miss Mathis. Uh, you wouldn't care to be my lucky charm. I'd love it, but I must return to the hotel. Oh, me too. Then perhaps we can go to... You might. So please, please go to Paris while you're safe. If you ever loved me. <laughs> Cassandra Harris played Countess Liesl von Schlaff in the film For Your Eyes Only. She is an Australian actress, famous for her diverse acting career and is the wife of the actor Pierce Brosnan. When she was in For Your Eyes Only, Cassandra was 33. Her character Countess Liesl von Schlaff is a seductive and mysterious woman who has a complicated relationship with Bond. Liesl was the mistress of Milo Colombo, a smuggler, and she was brutally murdered by Emil Leopard Locke, one of Bond's enemies. Cassandra was born on December 15, 1948 in Sydney, Australia. She began her acting career at a very young age and quickly became a beloved actress. She starred in many popular films and TV shows, including The Greek Tycoon and Rough Cut. Throughout her career, she had left a deep impression in the hearts of fans and audiences. Her later life was also full of tragedy when she had to face death due to ovarian cancer. She battled the disease for many years before passing away on December 28, 1991 at 43. No courage? Seriously, you may have a job finding one this time of night. Well, you look like a gentleman. Why not? You're a spy to find out more about you. And have you? Have I ever? Karen Dorr played Helga Brandt in the movie You Only Live Twice. She is a German actress, famous for roles in action and horror films. When she was in You Only Live Twice, Karen Dahl was 29. Her character Helga Brandt is a spy for the Spectre organization who is assigned to kill James Bond. Helga Brandt is a seductive and dangerous woman who always finds a way to hinder Bond in his missions. In the film, she tried to seduce Bond but was eventually discovered and killed by her boss. Karen Dahl was born on February 22, 1938. She began her acting career in the 1950s and quickly became a famous actress with many diverse roles. She participated in many famous films such as Alfred Hitchcock's Topaz. She left a deep impression in the hearts of the audience with excellent acting ability and seductive beauty. In July 2016, she fell and suffered a serious head injury while on vacation in South Tyrol. Although doctors initially did not detect a serious injury, she later began experiencing health problems such as headaches and fatigue. Her condition worsened and she was hospitalized in March 2017. She passed away on November 6, 2017 at 79. Her passing left many regrets in the hearts of fans and family. Who are you working for? Empire Chemicals, you know that. Do all their people carry guns? When they're abroad, yes. And why were you snooping? And did she? She failed. You should have killed him yourself. You had plenty of opportunity. This organization does not tolerate. Claudine Auger played Dominic Dovo in the film Thunderball. 
She is a French actress, famous for role as Bond girl in this film. When participating in Thunderball, she was 24 years old. Dominic is a lover of Bond's enemy, Emilio Lago, but she later betrayed Lago and helped Bond stop his plot. She was a seductive and strong woman who killed Lago to avenge her brother's death. Claudine Auger was born on August 26, 1941, in Paris, France. She began her acting career in the 1950s and quickly became an international star. She participated in many famous films such as Triple Cross and The Killing Game. She was also famous for winning the title of the first runner-up in the Miss World Contest in 1958. She passed away on December 18, 2019 at 78 after a long illness. Her passing left many regrets in the hearts of fans and family. She is remembered for many memorable roles and rich acting career. It's the first time I've tasted women, they're rather good. You're the only man to ever make me cry. <laughs> Except perhaps Francois, my brother, when we were children. Domino. No, my dear. There is no escape for you. Like your friend, you've been a little too clever. And now you are caught! Deborah Kerr played Agent Mimi in the movie Casino Royale. She is a Scottish actress, famous for an acting career that spent decades and was nominated six times for the Academy Award. When she was in Casino Royale, Deborah Kerr was 46, becoming one of the oldest Bond girls in the history of the series. Her character Agent Mimi was a secret agent who pretended to be a nun to approach and seduce James Bond. Deborah Kerr was born on September 30th, 1921 in Hillhead, Glasgow, Scotland. She began her acting career in the 1930s and quickly became a Hollywood star. She was in many famous movies such as The King and I, From Here to Eternity, and An Affair to Remember. With excellent acting ability and elegant beauty, she left a deep impression in the hearts of the audience. Her later life was also encountered with many health problems. She struggled with Parkinson's disease in her final years. She passed away on October 16, 2007 at 86. To your right, Sir James, Lady Mary, daughter of Lord Douglas McTarry, raped by the Campbells in 1622. Robin! Jock! Sandy! You've been challenged to Warsaw! Anna Blackman played Pussy Galore in the movie Goldfinger. She's an English actress, famous for diverse roles in films and TV shows. When she was in Goldfinger, she was 39. Her character Pussy Galore is a talented pilot and leader of the Pussy Galore's Flying Circus, a group of professional female pilots. Pussy Galore was initially an enemy of James Bond, but later turned to help him in stopping Auric Goldfinger's plots. Anna Blackman was born on August 22, 1925 in Plaistow, London, England. She began her acting career in the 1940s and quickly became a Hollywood star. She participated in many famous films such as Jason and the Argonauts and The Avengers. With excellent acting skills and charming beauty, she left a deep impression in the hearts of the audience. She passed away on April 5, 2020 at 94 from age-related complications. Her passing left many regrets in the hearts of fans and family. She is remembered for her memorable roles and rich acting career. Who taught you judo? The gun you took. Or the guns? Sydney, tell my lead to keep an eye on him. Tanya Roberts plays Stacy Sutton in the movie A View to a Kill. She is an American actress, famous for many roles in films and TV shows. When she was in A View to a Kill, Tanya Roberts was 36. Stacy Sutton is a geologist who helps James Bond stop Max Zorin's plot. Stacy Sutton is an intelligent and brave woman, always ready to face dangers to protect those around her. Tanya Roberts was born on October 15, 1949, in New York City, USA. She began her acting career in the 1970s and quickly became a Hollywood star. She participated in many famous films such as Beastmaster and Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. She is also famous for her roles in TV series such as Charlie's Angels and That 70s Show. She passed away on January 4, 2021 at 71. Her passing left many regrets in the hearts of fans and family. Tanya Roberts is remembered for her roles and rich acting career. Oh, by the way, you didn't say what part of the state you come from, Miss... Uh... No, I didn't. I suppose you uh, travel a lot. Your helicopter. Except right beneath us is the key geological lock that that keeps the faults from moving at once. All those explosives. Zena Marshall plays Miss Darrow in Doctor No. She is an English actress best known for roles in films and TV shows. When she was in Doctor No, Zena Marshall was 36. 
Her character Miss Tarot is a spy working for Dr. No, who tried to seduce and kill James Bond. Miss Tarot is a seductive and dangerous woman who always finds a way to hinder Bond. Zena Marshall was born on January 1, 1925, in Nairobi, Kenya. She began her acting career in the 1940s and quickly became a beloved actress. She starred in many popular films and TV shows, including Caesar and Cleopatra, and The Lost People. With her seductive beauty and excellent acting ability, she left a deep impression in the hearts of fans. Zena Marshall's later life would also encounter with many health problems. She passed away on July 10, 2009 at 84 from age-related complications. My car. Oh, damn thing wouldn't start. Engine trouble. That explains. Explains what? Why you need a tap? Face. It's, it's wonderful. What's going on behind my back? Molly Peters played Patricia Fearing in the movie Thunderball. She is an English actress and model, best known for her role in the James Bond series. When she was in Thunderball, Molly Peters was 26. Patricia Fearing was a nurse at a health clinic who cared for James Bond when he was recovering. She was one of the first Bond girls to appear nude on the screen, which caused many controversy at the time. Molly Peters was born on March 15, 1939, in Suffolk, England. She began her acting career in the 1960s and quickly became a beloved actress. She starred in many famous films and TV shows, including The Amorous Adventures of Maul Flanders and Target for Killing. She had a meal stroke in 2011 and other health problems related to aging. She passed away on May 29, 2017 at 78 from age-related complications. By the way, who is the man in the room next to your Count Lippy? I really don't know too much about him. Uh, Mr. Angelo. He's here with a private physician. Recoup Travel, a sort of uh, licensed troubleshooter. <laughs> Mr. Angelo, heart attack last night. I'm not surprised. The Lai Levy played the detainer in the movie Casino Royale. She is an Israeli actress, singer and model, famous for charming beauty and acting talent. When she was in Casino Royale, she was 25. Her character, the detainer, was the secret agent who posed as a nun to approach and seduce James Bond. The detainer is one of the first Bond girls and is one of the strongest and most independent female characters in the franchise. The Lai Levy was born on October 12, 1942 in Haifa, British Palestine, now Israel. She began her acting career in the 1950s and quickly became an international star. She participated in many famous films such as The Silencers and Lord Jim. She is also famous for her singing career with many successful albums in Europe. She passed away on May 3, 2017 at 74 from age-related complications. Nothing, I just think, did you ever see yourself in the mirror lately? Oh, I think you should. You are a wretched, grotesque, ridiculous, insignificant little monster. Already substituted my robots for them. At this very minute, the world is being ruled by duplicates under my control. Oh well, that explains a lot of things. Your reign could. Saskia Cohen Tanuki played Nicole in the movie Never Say Never Again. She is a Tunisian actress and theater director, known for her diverse acting career and directing career. When she was in Never Say Never Again, she was 24 years old. Her character Nicole is an MI6 agent who assists James Bond in his missions. Nicole is a smart and brave woman who is always ready to face danger to complete her mission. Saskia Cohen Tanugi was born on July 12, 1959 in Tunis, Tunisia. She began her acting career at a very young age and quickly became a beloved actress. She studied at the National Conservatory of Dramatic Art and graduated from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and the Sorbonne. She is not only famous for role in Never Say Never Again, but also for many other theater and film works. She participated in and directed many famous plays, including The Merchant of Venice and Dr. Health. She passed away on July 27, 2020 at 61. Shotgun with me. 326. How do you do? Excuse my inexperience. Nicole. I'm Felix Leiter. Enchanté. Thank you. My car is right. That's Lago's lady. Her name is Domino, Domino Petacci. Petacci. Eunice Gason plays Silver Trench in the first two James Bond films, Dr. No and From Russia with Love. She is an English actress, best known for playing Silver Trench, James Bond's first love interest. When participating in Dr. No, Eunice Gason was 34. Her character Silver Trench is a seductive and confident woman who had a brief romantic relationship with Bond. Silver Trench was the first to introduce Bond's famous line, Bond James Bond, when she introduced herself as Trench, Silver Trench. Eunice Gason was born on March 17, 1928, in London, England. 
She began her acting career in the 1940s and quickly became a beloved actress. She has starred in many popular films and TV shows, including The Revenge of Frankenstein and The Sand. With her beauty and excellent acting ability, she left a deep impression on the audience. She passed away on June 8, 2018 at 90 years old. Her passing left many regrets in the hearts of fans and colleagues. She is remembered for her memorable roles and a rich acting career. Set la banque. 200 livres la banque. Suivi. Banque au suivi. You always dress this way for golf. I changed into something more comfortable. Oh, I hope I did the right thing. Well, you did the right thing, but you picked the wrong moment. Diana Rick played Countess Teresa Di Vincenzo, aka Tracy Bond, in the film On Her Majesty's Secret Service. She is an English actress, famous for diverse roles in films and TV shows. When she was in the film, she was 31 years old. Tracy Bond is James Bond's only wife, a strong and independent woman. Tracy Bond met and fell in love with James Bond, and the two got married. However, tragedy struck when Tracy was killed by Bond's enemy, Irma Bond, shortly after their wedding. Diana Rick was born on July 20th, 1938, in England. She began her acting career in the 1950s and quickly became an international star. She participated in many famous movies and TV shows such as The Avengers and Game of Thrones. With excellent acting ability and seductive beauty, Diana Rick left a deep impression in the hearts of fans. She passed away on September 10, 2020 at 82 due to lung cancer. Come later. I hope it'll be worth it. Partner. Olive, what have you said? Don't blame Olimp, Papa. I'm not your daughter for nothing. Hmm, I detect a certain family resemblance. I suggest you revise the terms of your contract, Mr. Bond. What do you think about the departure of the actors from Bond Girls? Who do you miss the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future content updates. Thank you.